So a lot of people have been talking about whether or not Bitcoin is a buy right now. And there's a lot of different conspiracies and just thoughts and articles and just news going around that Bitcoin is just this big blow up in everyone's face and that it's just going to drop again like what happened in 2017. Okay, some people can believe that. But others are starting to see that it may not happen that way, okay? And as we can see here over the past three months, it's been running up. And you know what happened last time it ran up? It ran up a lot basically to where the point we are right now, okay? And we've run up all the way to what, like 19, yeah, a little over $19,000. So yes, we had our run up point, but now this pullback happened. Everybody got stared, it dropped about 4,000 points, blah, 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 and people started to take their money out. So when that happened, investors were like, now nah, this is gonna go down to 14K, 13K, maybe even lower, we're gonna have this massive pullback again, and then you could jump in. Well, you know, it's kind of funny how that happened because now if we look at this one week chart, we can see that we're actually starting Starting to see a recovery. Now we haven't recovered all the way to previous highs, but we are starting to see a recovery. And when we double bottomed right here, we bounced off of those and made higher highs. And now these lows are higher lows. Okay, so. What this is basically saying is I'm not saying it's 100% not going to drop again because it easily could. Maybe a little bit of a pump before it drops and pulls back even harder. It definitely could do that. All I'm saying is that right now, Bitcoin looks to be like a healthy pullback stock if we've ever seen one like this, okay? It's ran up a lot had a pullback, and now is going to continue surging. Now, if this breaks over previous highs, it's going to keep on going, okay? But that's only if we can break above previous highs. Now, this could be the start to something even worse, or on the other end of the spectrum, we just keep on seeing it make no lower lows when the market opens tomorrow on Monday, or whenever you're seeing this video, we'll see throughout the week and how it plays out. But we're starting to see recovery from where we hit our quote-unquote bottom, and from there, it's interesting to really read the chart and be like, okay, maybe this was a nice time to buy as we surge higher. So, Ideally, I can't say whether or not this is a buy right now because it's almost impossible to predict what's going to happen with the, the way the markets have been going. What I can say is that starting a small position and building your way up is a great way in getting into something if you're not 100% sure on whether or not when to buy in. Because if this does decide to drop, you can add more as it continues to drop, okay? As long as you're long term and are okay with taking some loss now, where in a few years from now, this number right here is going to be minimal compared to what the price is actually at, okay? And a lot of investors are saying 50, 100K, 200K, hundreds of thousands of dollars is going to be worth. And obviously, you can think what you want, and anyone can have their own opinion and facts. And we don't know what's going to happen with it, but obviously, Bitcoin has been known to run up. And the future of Bitcoin is very strong. And I believe that if you start a small position, whenever that may be, and you keep adding that position, you'll have the correct position size that you are looking for and hopefully a good price point because you bought when it dipped, when you had the opportunity to buy in. So obviously, there's no definitive answer whether or not you can buy Bitcoin right now. You can buy it right now if you want to. You can buy it in two weeks from now. But the price right now is obviously lower than our previous highs. And if we do create new highs, it will break above that 20k mark and it will keep on surging but this was a nice little pullback it was a healthy pullback and i'm kind of glad it happened because now investors have a chance to get in if they want to or hold out and wait for it to drop even more because it could drop more or it could create new highs so either way you can choose your own decision research, find your own due diligence, do everything you can to make the right decision. Hopefully you guys found this video informational and maybe educational. <laughs> but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more content.